Uh, from Ontario, I'm joined by Jason Ruha, political commentator and analyst. Uh, Jason, what kind of sanctions are these? Sanctions on, uh, on food stuff, on medicine, pharmaceuticals, and uh, these kind of things? Uh, this is uh, simply unconscionable. I mean, it's not right to sanction food. I mean, when you have uh, the United States who claims that they only use sanctions as a weapon against uh, certain elites inside the country, when you're trying to block food from going to regular people, this is certainly not the case and reveals the true intentions of uh, what these sanctions are about. This is about trying to cause unrest in the country. This is about trying to make people angry, trying to make them desperate in the vain hope that they will eventually turn against their own government and try to uh, demand changes. This is about regime change. This is a very long-standing policy by many of the imperial countries in the world. But that's straight up what this is. It's a, it's a deliberate and malicious attack on the Iranian people. This is, I, I believe, uh, in some context, this is a crime against humanity to stop people from being able to get food. And that speaks volumes about what this is really about and what the real uh, uh, goals of the United States are right here. And I, I really think that, that that says all that, you know, really needs to be said. But we're in an unfortunate situation where many of the world's powers, including the international regulatory bodies, are, are not standing up to actions like this because they are being committed by uh, the most powerful countries in the world who uh, have united together, the United States, Israel, the UK, Saudi Arabia, uh, et cetera, in order to forward their own interests, which would certainly make people, uh, give people a uh, pause to consider uh, the usefulness of such organizations, but a, a rule of law is, of course, is always the best way to have a, a society. I mean, it would be nothing. Uh, it, you couldn't really use any way to just to describe these sanctions as being absolutely cold-blooded. These are anti-human. Uh, this is uh, this is this goes against, uh, you know, even the most basic aspects of humanity, and they frankly should not be tolerated by anyone in the world. I appreciate your comments. Jason Ruha, political commentary analyst who joined us from Ontario.